Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 98. In this video, I'll be taking apart a propane regulator. This one is made by Fisher Controls Company. On the back, there is a Canadian patent number and a U.S. patent number. I'll take off this old piece of gas line. Looks like a flare fitting. There was another one of these right angle fittings on the bottom. Now this is the outlet port. We can kind of see in there. This port with the screen is the vent and the fuel goes in on the bottom. I've got to go find the tool to get that out. I'll do that off camera and I'll take this off off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the plug that was in the bottom. Underneath it was a bolt with a rubber head and it has anti-seize on it which will get everywhere. The plug on the front is made of plastic and I also went ahead and took the screen off of the vent. So this plastic nut in here is for adjusting the pressure and it's pressing against a spring. I'm going to undo that, then we'll take the screws off. It's easy enough to back it out with a screwdriver. Take it off the rest of the way. And there's the spring. And that's pressing on a rubber diaphragm in there. Now I'm going to see if I can get the screws out. I have the feeling they're not going to come out and I'm going to have to grind them off. I'm going to pause for a minute, see if I can get these off. If I can't, I'm going to go grind them. All right, I had to grind all of them off. On the back of this upper housing, there's this plastic piece that's peened in place. And that has a spring. and that's for the vent. This is what that big spring is pressing against. Like that. And that's what gets adjusted with that plastic nut. So the gas comes in here through the input and pushes against the back of the diaphragm against the pressure of the spring. Now I'm gonna pull this apart All right, and on the back of the diaphragm, there's this plastic block, and that actuates this lever. That is what is opening and closing the inlet valve. It's moving that rubber-headed bolt up and down. So the gas comes in the inlet, fills the area behind the diaphragm, pushing against the spring, closing the valve, and stopping flow. When the pressure goes down, the spring will push the diaphragm back and allow more fuel to come in. The vent is to allow the front side of the diaphragm to be at atmospheric pressure. As it moves, it has to allow air in and out. So there it is, a simple propane pressure regulator. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.